What's up everyone, it's Jeremy Dwayne here, bringing you episode 13 of my Maxed Out series, which is weekly update videos on my progress to Max and Completion Escape in RuneScape. So today I have a ton of level ups for you guys. Uh, I know it has been a little while since I posted one of these, it's been just over a week. And so I've been doing a lot of training in that time, a lot of AFK stuff, uh, and I've made quite a bit of progress as you will see in the end. Now. Today I get 79 and 80 fishing, which is pretty good for me. My fishing goal at the moment is to get to at least 85, so whenever I am sick of doing something else that's pretty afk cable, I will go do some fishing at Monkfish. Now why Monkfish? I know Barbarian fishing or C2 fishing is a lot better XP, but I'm doing Monkfish for my Making Bank series as well, uh, so that I can make some money. You don't, It doesn't require anything to do uh, Monkfish, so I can freely, you know, fish them and make money and count it towards my making bank series. So I'm currently doing that. I'm 80 fishing, as you will see in just a few seconds. And from there, I will be uh, doing cave fish and then rock tails, which also will be part of my making bank series. It just will take a little bit of time to uh, get there. So uh, what else do I have for you guys? I have found, well, I stumbled upon a new way to train combat stats, and it's the same as chinning at uh, skeletal monkey or monkey skeletons, and you know the Apatol dungeon thing, and uh, you know it's just pretty AFK. Now I have to thank uh, Suomi for this. Uh, I watched one of his videos, and he was training attack here, and uh, so I've been doing that quite a bit lately, trying out different setups trying to figure out what the best XP per hour is, and uh, I will be releasing a guide on how to do that very soon. Um, I In this video, you'll see me get 97 attack, and uh, that is pretty cool. I will be doing this all the way to 99 attack, and then for 99 defense, I'll probably just get it through Slayer or something like that instead of through uh, AFK training. We'll see. Uh, I really just want to crank out 99, or... Uh, crank out max melee so that I can focus on getting uh, 99 summoning and just work that out and then you know do whatever I want from there. Also in this video you'll see me get 99 flood chain. Uh, I decided to just go ahead and crank it out and I got uh, 509,000 broad arrows and or uh, well the supplies to make that many so I bought uh, headless arrows and then the broad arrow tips in the Grand Exchange. Uh, thank you so much for the, to those of you that helped me out with buying those. Uh, I know it was uh, it, it's kind of hard to buy broad arrows because there's a 10k limit every four hours. So uh, during a couple live streams, you know, some of you guys helped me out and bought 10k, and then I bought them from you guys. A couple of you actually gave them to me, which was really nice. Um, but you know, I'm really appreciative of that. And it, it definitely helped me get to 99 faster because I would have had to wait for the Grand Exchange offers to buy. Um, so uh, I pretty much just no lifed it. I mean, I didn't really no life it. I, I would sit and watch Netflix and, and do that whenever I wasn't doing something else. And, you know, I just, I just trained it until I got 99. And then I um, uh, had the, the live stream party slash, uh, well, kind of a party. Uh, two days ago, and uh, a couple people showed up, so it was a pretty good turnout. Uh, you'll see the you know, the, the 99 at the end, and uh, me getting the cape. But um, yeah, it was, it was a really great turnout. We didn't really do anything. I was kind of tired from, from training, but um, thank you guys for coming and supporting me. It was awesome. Um, I, I really do appreciate you guys coming out and and kind of cheering me on as I get the last XP for, for the 99. And uh, it helps out because it takes a long time to get these 99s. Uh, and I know a lot of them are pretty easy to get, but it does take a, quite a long time to get uh, an, a skill all the way up to 99. Um, broad arrows. You, you may be saying, why did you do broad arrows? And how much did it cost? What is the benefit of using broad arrows? I, I'll be making a fletching guide eventually. And you know, I'll talk about this in that guide, but broad arrows is one of the best ways to get fletching up from level 55. I think that's when you can start making them. But uh, broad arrows, you get approximately 600k XP per hour, so it's really fast. 
but the downside is is they're very expensive. I don't know exactly how much you lose per arrow, but I lost just about 60 mil getting from level 90 to 99. So uh, it's very costly. And why do you lose that much money? Because they're untradeable once you make them into arrows. Uh, to, to unlock the ability to make these, you have to have, uh, I think, uh, you have to have like 50 some, I don't know, you have to have the smoking kills quest completed and then you have to pay to unlock the ability to fletch them. And I don't know, it, it costs a lot of, it, it costs like 300 Slayer points, something like that. And I actually just unlocked it not too long ago for, uh, you know, just this, I, you know, otherwise I wouldn't have got done it. And I know that from level 95 to 99, it's much better to do dragon darts. Uh, it's better XP. It's about 1 mil XP per hour with dragon darts, so you can get it really, really fast. But uh, that also costs a lot more money than it does to make broad arrows. So I only recommend doing these if you do have the money to spare. I know you can get it uh, pretty much just as fast doing, like, stringing magic longbows or whatever and lose less or even make a profit, but... That was those methods are so tedious that I just said, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to go for it and just spend the money on it because I would much rather get it fast and um, you know, do it easily than waste time and just get frustrated cutting or stringing bows. So, um, hate me all you want for doing it this way, but you know, I think it, you know, personally it was worth it for me to do it because I just I don't like fletching at all, and it's it's really a pointless skill, to be honest. And, well, most of the skills in RuneScape are pointless, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, I did miss the 94 fletching. Uh, I couldn't find the clip that I recorded, so, um, you guys are only seeing 93 through 99, or 93, and then 95 through 99. But, um, hopefully you don't hate me too much. I mean, it's it's just one skill that I missed, and it's pr they're pretty much all just clips of me standing at the GE so nothing too exciting there but um yeah so what is my next 99 goal uh obviously attack uh i'm pretty much 16 hours of afking at the uh monkey skeletons you know away from getting 99 so i'm probably just gonna sit there and crank it out because it's really fast xp uh i'm getting the current setup that i that you saw me in this video, I'm getting about 131k XP per hour. That is using protect melee and turmoil, no overloads, nothing, just prayer renewals and prayer pots. Um, I did calculate it with overloads, and it, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, it only gave about 5k XP more per hour. So I mean, if you are looking for the best XP, I mean, I guess you could, but um, it's really not worth it for 5k because the cost of overloads. Um, I'm, I will try a couple I will try a couple setups with uh, extremes and then possibly supers, but um, in my opinion it's just not worth it. And then I also might try out uh, a setup with piety to see how, how well it is with that for people that, people that don't have 95 prayer. Um, so yeah, that is that. And uh, expect that guide out soon. Uh, other than attack, what am I planning on doing? Uh, I'll, I will be doing a little bit of fire making, a little bit of fishing, and a little bit of agility, and thieving. Now you're like, blah, blah, why are you doing this? You're so not, you're, you're not very efficient, you'll keep switching skills. And apparently you're all Asian and very stereotypical. I'm the type of RuneScape player that I will play, I will do whatever I want, when I want to do it, um, like fletching. I completely despised fletching, but I was like, you know what, let's just do it, and so I cranked it out, and I just did it. Now, with, like, agility and thieving, I'm kind of like, eh, I'll just do it whenever I get around to it, and whenever I am in the mood to do it, and then when I'm bored of doing that, I switch to a different thing, and, you know, that works for me. It doesn't work for everyone. A lot of people are like, you must grind this skill and then you'll get a 99, and I don't know why I do that voice, but... You get my picture, you know, a lot of people just want to grind out a skill until they get all the way to 99. And, you know, I hey, that's fine for some people, but for me, I just go with the flow of whatever I'm grooving with, man. You know, just driving, just diving with the, the spirits of the realm. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but 
you know, I just, I go, I go with the flow. I just do whatever I feel like doing at the time, and then I stop when I don't like it. I'm that's the kind of gamer that I am. You know, when I when I'm playing Call of Duty or something like that, I'm I only play until I get bored of it, and then when I'm bored of it, I do something else. You know, I don't just sit there and play a game that I don't enjoy playing. You know, when I'm not in the mood to play RuneScape, I don't play RuneScape. I'll play Star Wars: The Old Republic, or you know, or maybe I just won't play anything at all. But anyways, guys, uh, the next skill that I will be getting is attack because I just want to crank it out. And then from there, the next skill I will be getting is probably fire making or dungeoneering. Uh, I'm not 100% positive on that at this time because uh, it really just depends on if I can find friends that want to dunge with me. I absolutely despise finding random teams. So I, you won't see any, any, uh, any random teams coming from me because I, I really don't like doing teams that are really slow. So uh, if I can find friends to to dunge with me, that's great. Uh, if any of you guys are really good at dungeon and you can, if you're like really good at keen or have, you know, someone that can key really well and can do like 30 minute or faster floors or even 40 minute or faster floors. You know, let me know, because uh, I could use all the help I can get for 99 Dungeoneering. I'm just over 3.3 mil XP away from 99, I think. Maybe closer to 3.6 or 3.8, but, you know, I'm really close to getting uh, 99. I just have to crank it out, and it honestly would only take me, like, three days if I really just no lifed it. But, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now, and uh, I hope that you are enjoying the series. Uh, again, these are weekly update videos of what I've been doing in RuneScape and uh, my stat updates and stuff like that. Uh, I cannot do these daily or more, th more than once a week because it takes a long time to get these skills up. So I hope you understand that and um, we will see you next week for another episode of making or maxing it out episode 14 will be next week and um, leave this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying this and hope to see some more. Uh, I do plan on, on getting this cranked out within the next six months or so, max cape that is. Uh, completionist cape will probably take more, like a year or so, because it just takes forever to get dunge up, and I don't have enough money to uh, pay for leeches. And uh, honestly, I think leeching dungeoneering is kind of worthless, because I can if I can dunge just fine on uh, normal teams, then why pay... For someone else to do it when I actually enjoy dungeoneering, I have fun. You know, it's it's a skill that I really do enjoy uh, training, and I don't understand why people leech if they have the skills. You know, I can understand uh, like skillers or uh, people that don't have defense levels, you know, paying to leech because it's just literally impossible for them to do it because they just get would get one hit. But um, for max people like me uh, that have pretty much max combat uh it's really not worth um paying because you can just do it yourself for free and uh get the same xp so uh thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and we will see you next week for another episode peace